Hi, this is Vicki Gilford Parnell. And the Lord Jesus woke me up this morning. And the Holy Spirit led me to go back to some prior journals and led me instantly to a vision I had on 10 30 21 at 3 19 p.m. And this is not one I want to deliver or share, but I have to. This is entitled a vision of war and invasion and i have been praying all morning it is now 6 38 a.m and I, I will deliver this word this vision a moment to pray first father god i come to you lord in the mighty name of jesus there is no other way a man can be saved lord lord these things are hard but i trust you and I will be obedient, Lord. I choose to walk in obedience. Lord, I pray that the words in this vision would reach the May's heart. If we reach just one, Lord, it's worth it. All the persecution, all the heartache, all the joys, it's worth it, Lord, if we reach one soul. So, Lord, I'm asking, Holy Spirit, you send this word out and reach every heart that needs to receive this word. Give them ears to hear and a heart that is ready to receive that softened, Lord. And if they're not saved, bring them to repentance and to godly sorrow. Bring them to the point of salvation, Lord. Because that's what's important. The soul. The soul first and foremost. And I bind all hindrances that the devil would try to throw at this video from going out. This word written, however, Lord. And I loose all heaven. I loose all of heaven. To let it go smoothly. Do what you need, Lord. Send angels or whatever. Holy Spirit, take it on the wind. Just let your perfect will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I give you praise this morning, Lord. Regardless of the hard things, I give you praise. Because you are worthy. You are worthy, sweet Jesus. I love you. Amen. This is a vision I had on 10, 30, 21, 3, 19 p.m. And I had been praying and interceding. Um, this again is titled A Vision of War and Invasion and it was after I was praying and then this happened it says come and this is Jesus speaking to me come, come see child what awaits your once great nation your world close your eyes but keep them yet keep them open what do you see I see a mushroom cloud, what appears like orange red fire at the bottom, part of it and it's on the ground instead of up high in the air. What else do you see, child? I see billows of smoke, ash and debris erupting on all sides as it burns, melts, destroys everything in its path as it begins spreading itself outward. I see cities leveled. I hear anguish cries and screams the farther out this cloud reaches. Look again, child. What do you see? I see pockets of areas covered in a whitish clear bubble that's surrounding small locations, even cars, and protecting them when they should have been destroyed. What city is this, Jesus? The city represents many, my daughter, many inside your nation. What else, daughter? What else? Look again. I see an ocean covered with many, many vessels and drones. I think they are near a shoreline. I see many, many submarines surfacing from beneath the waters. There's too many of them, Jesus, too many. It is an army designed to conquer, child. This is the army formed by the evil Putin's unholy coalition. Where is this city, this harbor area, Jesus? You know, child, for we have spoken of it often. I'm seeing like a large map being cut lowered, but it's not a paper. It's more like a white sheet. 
with a world map that's on it. It's being lowered by its four corners before me upon my living room floor where I have been praying. Look, child, look. Tell me what do you see on the map? I'm seeing Jesus with my eyes open, the world map, and I see small ships identifying the army of vessels I just witnessed earlier. And they are at California, Alaska, New York. Eventually they appear near Virginia and Florida. It is an army destroyed, designed to conquer a child, to conquer and destroy. What else do you notice, child? Look again. I see small pinprick light points dotted at different locations, places of the United States. Now I'm seeing an acceleration of battle on our soil, and the further the enemy begins advancing, the more lights I see starting to shine. Now I see them multiplying fast upon this map. What am I seeing here, Jesus? You are seeing the fire of my Holy Spirit as it begins igniting the fires of what you have named revival. It is through the thrashing and the testing shall the wheat be made to become pure and pass from one person to another. Tell me, child, what do you surmise? War is still coming, and so is the invasion. Tell me, child, is this not my great love in action? Man is being rewarded for his sinful ways, while I am bringing many by my Holy Spirit unto me through great adversity and even war. So my people, when paying their dues, as you call it, child for their sins, and I use it to save their eternal souls from everlasting eternity in hell's flames. The verses, Psalms 86.13, Romans 10.13, Isaiah 46.11, Proverbs 14, 34, Hosea 4, 1 through 16. I'm asking you, please pray about these things. Whether you believe or not, that's in your hands, in your heart. I'm just pray asking you, pray about them. Pray about them and line it up with the Word of God. In all things, God is good, even in judgment. Thank you. God bless.